Summer of Tennis rolls on to sunny Queensland for the Danone Australian Women's Hardcourt Championship. The famed Milton Tennis Centre in Brisbane, in the midst of a million dollar facelift, plays host to the tournament, the first on the international women's tennis calendar for 89. The new year also sees the new rebound ace surface replace the grass on Milton Centre Court. Unfortunately, rain has disrupted development work on the outside enclosures and only three additional courts are available for tournament play and limited practice. But the players are taking it in their stride as they set their sights on the first major title of the year. Top seed Helena Sokova leads the charge, looking for a repeat of her 84 victory here at Milton. And she's in top form, coming straight off the finals of the Hoffman Cup in Perth. And Hannah Mandlakova should be ready to show her best after a solid workout in the West. The top-ranked Aussie hopeful in the draw is Melbourne's consistent Anne Minter. And Nicole Provis again gets a chance to recapture her French Open semi-final form. Feisty Paddy Fendick, a semi-finalist here last year, again represents the top American threat for the title. While the tournament also marks the comeback of the glamorous Hungarian Andrea Temesvari after nearly two years on the sidelines with injury. And the number seven seed, Jana Novotna, a finalist here last year and winner of the Danone Classic in Adelaide just a few weeks ago, will be looking to extend her impressive string of victories in the Danone Australian Women's Hardcourt Championship from Milton, only on the Australian Television Network. Ah, Queensland. It's great to be here. The weather's fantastic. Danone Hardcourt Championship produced some tough and exciting matches. The number nine seed and former Wimbledon junior champion Brenda Schultz of the Netherlands was forced to the brink before scraping through the first round in three sets against French girl Emmanuel Gurley. Australia's Di Balistrat also battled long and hard to overcome Nicole Jägerman, another of the Dutch brigade. And fellow Aussie Liz Smiley won the glamour stakes against the Hungarian blonde beauty Andrea Temesvari. While West Germany's Claudia Porbeck upset the number 14 seed at Suka Inui of Japan. A sample of what's in store as the more highly ranked players make their centre court appearance in the Danone Australian Women's Hardcourt Championship, only on the Australian Television Network. Hello again, nice to have you with us at the Milton Tennis Courts for day two of the Danone Australian Hardcourt Championships. And yes, Claudia Paulwick of West Germany did cause that upset uh, late yesterday afternoon, the match that was in progress at the conclusion of our telecast, in fact. And she went on to beat the number 14 seed at Suka Inui of Japan in three sets, 7-5, 1-6, 6-3. Well, as I said, many of the more highly seeded players make their first appearance on centre court in the tournament today. So we've got another great lineup of matches for you. Let's uh, check them out. And first up on centre court, we'll be seeing Australia's own Nicole Provis against uh, her regular doubles partner, in fact, or quite frequent doubles partner, Manon Bollograph from the Netherlands. Paddy Fendick, last year's semi-finalist here from the United States against Liz Smiley, whom we saw in such good form yesterday. Jill Hetherington from Canada, the star for them in their Federation Cup play recently. Uh, meets Australia's number four seed, Anne Minter. That is going to be a very tough encounter. And the last match scheduled for Centre Court this afternoon will feature Laura Golasa of Italy in another very tough match against the number seven seed and last year's runner-up here, Jana Novotna. You know what they say about Queensland, great one day and even better the next. Well, here's another perfect example. The forecast, fine and mild to warm for today's second day of play in the tournament. Uh, top temperature forecast is about 28 degrees with some moderate to fresh south to southeasterly winds. Temperature at the moment is 26 degrees, 60% of humidity. Quite a light breeze, about, uh, about 10 knots at the present time. Well, for those uh, people that called and wanted to know about this spectacular display of flowers behind me, uh, the groundsman here, John Hume, tells me they're called amaranthus. I don't know what the plural of that is, whether it's amaranthi or amaranthuses. But he tells me he planted them about six months ago and they're only about an inch high and they've grown to that height in that short space of time. A spectacular uh, display. I'm sure you'll agree. I don't know whether they're a native plant or not. Uh, but they die again in uh, another couple of weeks, unfortunately. But certainly he's put on a great display for the tournament. Well, players about to uh, come on court for our first match and I think we should join our commentators to take a look at the form for this one. John Barrett and John, Ale John, Ale John Alexander. Alan Stone. Well, good morning everybody. Good morning Alan. Good morning John. A fine match indeed to look forward to. Provis against Bolograph. The thing that occurs to me Alan is that Nicole Provis probably did less well than she'd have hoped to do in the Federation Cup. She's short of match play. How's that going to affect her today? Well I think uh, you're right John but I think during the Federation Cup uh, she felt the pressure really of her first Federation Cup for Australia and in Melbourne in her hometown and I think really the, she didn't play as well as she can play. I think given this tournament situation we're speaking to her at the hotel yesterday she's a lot more relaxed and I think she'll play uh, very well although you know it's a tough match for her against Bolograph. Certainly is her opponent today Manon Bolograph from Holland has the advantage of having won a match yesterday she beat Hester Witvoit her fellow mm. Dutch girl 
And I think that always makes a difference when you had a match under your belt. Well, it certainly does, and sometimes being seeded uh, isn't necessarily a big bonus because you don't get to play in that first round. But uh, Nikki Prof is very keen to do well here, and I, I think she will. Well, because they know each other so well, they played doubles together, they won the tournament in Strasbourg together. Who's going to win? Uh, I'd have to, a little bit biased, I'd have to go for Nikki Provis. Well, there we are. We're hoping for an Australian win here. We'll be back for the start of that match after this break. Australian um, Women's Hardcore Championships and I think really all of Australia will be very interested to see how well Nicole Provis plays today and we shall be seeing Liz Smiley out here later as well so there's plenty of good Australian fare here and I think these good folk Alan will be very pleased with the way this nearly million dollar development has transformed Milton Road. Yes uh, when it's completed it's just about at that point but uh, when it is it's really going to be a tremendous center and uh, of course fitting into the whole plan of things for the Australian uh, summer season as we see Nikki Provis on screen there she's now 19 years of age from Melbourne right-handed she's ranked 34 in the world which is really an outstanding ranking and in junior events she won the Canadian junior in 86 the Australian hardcourt 86 she's runner-up the Wimbledon mixed doubles in 87 and 88 there, you see the semi-final of French Open singles and doubles, which is a tremendous performance, and won the Strasbourg doubles, as we said, with her opponent of today in Manon Bolograd. So, Nikki Provis, one of our bright hopes. And another perfect day here, just a little bit of cloud cover, as we look at the details concerning Manon Bolograd. 24 years old, from Ermelo in Holland, a right-hander, ranked 117 in the world. 86 champion of Charleston and Birmingham. She won the USTA tournament in San Antonio and the doubles in Charleston and in 87 the semi-finalist in Hamburg and Puerto Rico doubles. So she's a good doubles player as she confirmed there last year, rather 87 in Brisbane. And here last year she reached the quarter-final of the singles. Beat Liz Smiley incidentally on the way. Quarter-finalist in the Australian Open doubles as well. And as you've just heard, a winner at Strasbourg with Nicole Provis. Manon Bolograf and our umpire for today's match is Keith Melville from New South Wales. So there it is, all types of headgear required today, a strong sun in Queensland will be protecting from that, though the players will be exposed to it. And the announcement there from Ken Neville of New South Wales. I apologise for getting his name wrong just now. Can't read my own writing this early in the day, Alan. <laughs> so, getting prepared for the start. And I think um, the first match, as we've said so often in the past, but it always remains true, the first match for any player, particularly a seeded player in a tournament of this sort, Provis at six, is always crucial. Yes, there'll be a little bit of uh, nervous tension, I think, for Nikki Provis, although on the score of playing on this type of surface, she does have a big advantage because, of course, she lives in Melbourne and she's been practising at the National Tennis Centre for weeks leading up to the Federation Cup and, of course, on this surface, so she should be more familiar with the uh, general play on rebound ace than her opponent. Ready? And it will be Manon Bolograf from the far end to serve first. Love 15. Love 30. Well, you saw in that rally both girls favouring the two-handed backhand, so we'll probably see a few lengthy uh, baseline rallies. I 
think the forehand, though, of Provost might be a determining factor. You can see why with shots like Love that. 40. And she's quickly raced to three break points. Game, Provis. First so, game. a break of serve to open this match for Nicole Provis. Well, I don't know whether that's to make me feel at home or <laughs> to welcome Sue Barker, who has just arrived in Brisbane, and we'll be seeing her later. But, Alan, I think uh, a big game here for Provis to underline the break of serve. Yes, she's serving uh, into the sun for the Love first time, day. and you can see it does have an effect. Double fault to open her serve. Love 30. So a bit of a shaky start from that southern end for Nicole, as did uh, Manon in the previous service game. Gee, there's a fine forehand Love from Bollegraff. So we've yet to see a server win a point on that serve. It's unusual. It's broken the duck. 15.40. Last time I saw this young lady was, of course, in Melbourne for the Federation Cup. And surprisingly to me, she lost rather badly to Claire Wood in the consolation final, but then teamed with Caroline Wies to win the deciding doubles after Schultz had had a default from uh, Sarah Goma. Thirty forty. Well go. Yes, the Ball is just uh, resting there at the back of the court behind the netting. Game one game all. A little bit of early tension. Yes, uh, both girls dropping serve from that southern end. I think the sun probably helped them. Uh, a little tentative with their serves. But certainly an opportunity they lost early in the match by Provis. When she'd broken that uh, first game, it gives you a big lift and she'll be a little disappointed she didn't capitalise. Only early yet. 15 long. That's a great point. 
30-15. Well, certainly well played from Provis. You'll see here she gets herself out of position but makes a good volley from that point and then moves forward into a better volleying position to finish off the point. The service action from front on of Manon Bolograph. Quite a nice serve. Builds up some racket head speed. Just perhaps a little bit better weight transference would give her a bit more power, but basically pretty sound swing. A little bit of a breeze blowing today mm. from right to left as we look down the court from our main camera position. Out. Yes, called uh, by Ken 40, Neville 30. from the chair. Certainly appeared to just cross over the baseline and Nicky Provis there just pointing to the mark, in fact. So good umpiring there by Ken Neville, quickly overruling. Not easy when in your mind there's a, an idea of some of the breeze we've got to contend with today but it's uh, always difficult when in your mind you've won a point and then have it taken away from you yes. by an overall Advantage Provis. Well, not much luck for her there either because she struck that ball very firmly and it was going to be a difficult shot for Provis, but the net cord pushing it wide, so all of a sudden an opportunity here for Provis when it didn't look like she was going to be in a winning position this game. Juice. Well, perhaps justice, that's what uh, Bolograph probably thought should have happened with the last forehand. Although that time she did just give herself a little bit better margin of error, aimed it a little higher. Oh, well played. Advantage Bolograph. And you know, Alan, that to me is what a lot of players should do against Provis, because she's not the best mover. No, she moves very uh, well from side to side, but you'll notice here it's a short ball bringing Nikki Provis forward. She just can scramble it up, and Bolograph has moved in behind her shot, was there for the put away. Game, Bolograph. So a serve is held. Bolograph leads two games to one. First, the first one in the match, leaving Bolograph 2 1 ahead. Welcome back to Milton Road here in Brisbane. Day two of the Danone Australian Women's Hardcourt Championships. Being played for the first time on this rebound ace surface here. Newly laid. 15 love. This is a second round match, though the first for the server here. A beautiful throwing action of the racket head there. And good preparation afterwards, immediately into the ready position to move off in either direction. 15-30. Sometimes gets a bit impatient, Nikki Provis. You see a shot like that. It was just her first ground stroke in the rally and yet really clipped it hard cross court going for the line. I'd like to see it just maybe set up the points a little more.
1540. Well, some good attacking tennis from Bolograph. A good control of the racket head when she moved in there to play that approach volley. So she's got break points here. Standing well in to threaten the server now. That's why. Oh, oh gee, she was a bit unlucky there. It was a cold winner all the way. And as fate would have it, it just missed the line. Nikki hadn't moved to get to that shot. Game Bolograph. Bolograph leads three games to one. Well, that was clever tactic from Bolograph, standing well inside the baseline again to receive so threatening the server. It was the mental pressure that brought the double fold. Yes, and you'd call that an earned double fold, I guess, from uh, Bolograph. And she's done well here because she dropped her opening serve to love. And since then has run off the next three games now to lead 3-1. So Nikki Provis not settled down into this match yet. She'll have to do so quickly. And that's where the advantage of yesterday's match has helped Bolograph so much. Fifteen love. And a confident overhead from Bolograph looking into the sun. Now a lot of players are the first smash that they've hit for a match. As we watch on the low angle replay, we'll see and in Bolograph attack the net. Now a lot of players for their first smash may have let this one bounce. But no, she confidently takes it on the full, looking into the sun, and put it away. Holograph keeping a towel at the back of the court at the far end. Just going to wipe the handle. Very important, Alan, to have a good grip on the racket. Yes, uh, particularly the rallies are fairly long and uh, you've got to keep the palm of your hand dry. Fairly humid conditions always in Brisbane. Don't you think that's an area of the game that's improved so much? Equipment, the grips today are so much improved to the, uh, against the old leather ones. Yes, they certainly uh, have. You can see that Nikki on her racket there has got a special grip wrapped around the leather grip itself. And of course, apart from the grips, the actual frames are all mid-size or large Lead. sizes. First serve. Metal now, strong, light. Much better to play with than in the old days. I wonder how good Rod Laver would have been if he could have used one of these rackets. <laughs> Unlucky there, Man and Bellagraph just hesitating before walking over to the next point. I think she felt that uh, it was a very close call that went against her. But against her it did go and she's down two break points. Oh. Extraordinarily enough, there have been break points in every game of this match so far. Nikki Provost just going through the couple of practice shots. Hasn't settled down yet. I think Provost.
probably feeling a little tense still after uh, the Federation Cup. I did think playing away here in Brisbane might help to, to relax a little more, but it hasn't seemed to be the case as yet. There's a fine shot. Game for overs. Bollograph plays three games to two, first set. And four of the five games have been breaks of serve. Well, of course, it isn't just here on the centre court that we're having action. There's Wendy Turnbull out on court one, warming up for her match. In fact, preparing to start her match against Anna Ivan of the United States, a member of our commentary team, Alan. Yes, we'll be hopefully having Wendy's uh, expert comments later in the week, depending on how she does. Love 15. I must say I'm impressed with the way uh, men in Bolograph's able to uh, turn a rally into attack. Baseline rally and then she's quick to seize an opportunity and she's hit some good volleys when she's moved forward. Good attacking move that time by uh, Provis. Good athletic girl, this man on Bolograph. She likes hockey and that's field hockey and swimming. Oh. Looks a good athlete too, the way she moves about a tennis court. Thirty fifteen. So a couple of forehand errors from Bolograph. Not really giving the ball enough height on those last two shots. Particularly when you're on the run, you've got to lift the ball to make up for the fact that your weight's not heading towards the other end. Game Provis. Three games all. Well, that'll lift her spirits, or should. We've got back to three all. It's been one of those well contested matches, I think, which will turn on the player who gets confident first. Well, Provis now running off the last two games after having lost the previous three. Uh, a turnaround. Up 15. A few forehand errors just starting to creep into uh, Bolograph's game. Provis will be probably working on that side, although, as we mentioned, we they both know each other's game very well, having played a lot of doubles together in Europe last year. Love 30. Well, that's about four points in a row that Bolograph has made a, uh, a forehand net error. And as we watch her there, you might have noticed just turning the wrist over a bit too sharply and dragging the ball down to the net. Well, that's a great serve, isn't it? 15 30. Beautifully placed. Here it yes, is again. hit very flat, straight down the centre. Out, 30 all. Well, again, quickly overruled, I think, there by 
Ken Neville. I think the baseline umpire indicated good. So he's had to make a couple of overrules. Thirty forty. No, Provost just a little steadier at the moment. Chance here for a break for her. Juice. She hasn't quite got a timing yet, has she, Nicole, on the Centre court here. It may be a little bit different in pace from the outside court. Oh! Does happen sometimes. Advantage, Provis. Well, again, uh, Provis going to the forehand wing of Bolograph with success. And a little shake of the head by Nikki, just indicating uh, just a little disappointed with her play at the moment. Two opportunities for a break there and committed reasonably straightforward errors. Advantage Bolograph. Good example of how to use the slice serve, but I think Nikki should have taken an extra step to reach for it and if we look at it again you'll see here that it goes really rather too high making it a comparatively easy volley but it was well struck well played game bolograph Bolograph leads four games to three, first so set. Bolograph going back to get the towel before changing ends, leading 4-3 first set. And what a joy to be in Brisbane on a day like this, a perfect summer's day. A little bit of war paint there to ward off the <laughs> strong sunshine. And Alan, our summer of tennis is really getting off to a good start. Yes, it certainly is. Standard of play was, uh, I thought, exceptional for the first day's play yesterday. And with shots like that, I think it's only going to uh, continue and improve. That a candidate, I think, for one of our cousins' clean winners. Beautifully struck, stepping into the forehand, getting her weight forward. Well, a very topsy-turvy first set here. Both players having plenty of chances, and it's just going to be which player, I think, settles down and takes advantage of the upcoming chances that's going to win the set. Perfect. 30-15. Yes, well, it was a short second serve, so it deserved to be attacked by Bolograph. She did the right thing as we watch it on the reverse low angle. She comes in, but it's just beaten by a better shot there.
40-15. Bolograph just missing there with that chip backhand down the line. So showing us that she's got good variety on the backhand side, able to let go of the left hand and play good one-handed backhands when stretched wide. A bit like Mats Verlander who does that so well. Perhaps her backhand's not quite as good as Mats's, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the idea there, but the timing is uh, such a delicate thing in this game, and until it is perfectly grooved and working nicely, the errors do, I'm afraid, disfigure the game slightly. Juice. Yes, I think that's uh, very true, and particularly uh, on a surface like this where you get a little bit higher bounce than, say, normal, and then that does affect your timing a bit if you've got to make contact with the ball. It's just up a little bit higher than you're anticipating. Advantage Provis. Gee, what a good smash. Again, a good attacking move from Bolograf. Not initially chipping and coming in, as we see from the low angle here. Nicky Provis hitting it high. Bolograf takes it on the volley. And then a good leap. Very athletic smash there. Mm, and a confident shot there to bring up break point. Seems she's just a little bit looser of the two players. Juke. Extraordinary. They can't string two together, can they? <laughs> We're seeing some great individual shot making, but a slight sign of uh, rustiness. Advantage Bolograph. Break point again. Nikki Provis impressed with her shot selection there. Percentage shot would have been just hit the two-hander back cross court. Wait till your confidence is up before you go for the harder down the line shot. Oh. Bolograph standing wide to threaten the server. Well played. Great anticipation. Juice. When we watch from the reverse low angle, Bolograph appears to have the point at her mercy there. Now you see she didn't get it wide enough. Prophet Provis was already moving in that direction and had a fairly straightforward pass in the end. But an opportunity missed, I feel. Bolograph. Every now and again, she just unleashes it, doesn't she? That forehand, and she's, as we said, she's missed a few on it, but when she does step in and get it early, she's cracked two beauties this game. So for the third occasion, she's at break point. And then, Cute. it seems when she's got a little bit more time, too much time to think about it and uh, she likes the ball I think coming onto a racket a bit faster which is when she's hit the winners it's been a, a faster paced shot from her opponent when it's a slower one 
but he doesn't hit it anywhere near as well. Advantage Provis. Well, cleverly done there by Provis. It wasn't a full-blooded smash, but a uh, very critical situation in the match. 3-4 and juice. And rather than risk a wild overhead, she just placed it short. It was enough to win the point. Game, Travis. Four games all. Well, it's turning into a really fine battle, this. And the girls are just struggling. Provis, they're just asking for a towel. Polygraph has had one since the start of the match, very sensibly on a day like this. Yes. It's warm and uh, very humid, but a uh, very important game won there by Provis. She fought off three break points. So, I don't know who's going to win this set, though. <laughs> Both players have already had plenty of opportunities. There's just been one game in the match where we haven't seen a break point. It's remarkable. Love 15. Well, perhaps the tension building up at the far end. That's her first double fault. Well, no damage done to her confidence because back quickly with a very well-placed first serve. Oh, 30-15. Make that two first serves that are equal accuracy. And a third, so excellent Point serving in. after opening with the double faults. He's come back with three unreturnable first serves. Well, here's a key point. If she could just now snatch this point, get back to Deuce, she might affect the break. Oh, the first foot fault. Mm. Fortunately, on a first serve. Game, Bolograph, new balls. So again... Bolograph leads five games to four, first set. Provis overplays, and 5-4 Bolograph, first set. So a fascinating situation has developed in this second round match, but the first match of the tournament for Nicole Provis. She had a bye as a seed, and uh, I must say, it's very difficult at the moment, Alan Stone, to pick a winner. Yes, it is. Uh, as you've mentioned, there's been break points galore here. And uh, neither player really being able to capitalise. Both coming up with some fine individual points. But uh, Provost needing all the concentration here at 4-5, serving into the sun.
15 love. And both girls over hitting a little, whether they're having a bit of difficulty with the balls flying on them. That little bit of extra bounce that you get on rebound ace and playing it from perhaps a little higher than you might normally expect has caused you to over hit a few. Well, that was excellent point there. One of the best rallies we've seen in the match. What a pity it had to end on a loser. Well, I guess it was a forced error there. Provost was in the ascendancy. She was moving the ball around Bolograph at full stretch. Well, Nicky moved rather, rather awkwardly to that ball. Almost an elephantine movement there. That's one of the reasons we are seeing a fairly high percentage of errors is both girls going for really ambitious shots and so producing some glorious winners at times. Mm, well, it's always been the style of uh, Provis to hit very hard from the baseline and try to win her matches from there. With shots like game, that. Game, Travis. You were saying. <laughs> it's five games all. Well, she's got that ability to really generate some power, but she really needs to be moving well. The footwork needs to be spot on, and when she's in position, she can really crack heaps of winners like that, and that's how she's got to be 34 in the world. But she's not really moving well and uh, getting a racket back early. Because she's hitting so hard, she makes a few unforced errors and gets into trouble. It does worry me a little bit, John, though, that a game is pretty much one-dimensional, though, that hard hitting from the backcourt. I think really for her to get to the top of the game, she's got to add a little bit better serving and attacking through the net play. Love 15. And I think uh, Provis also must improve her mobility. Well, she has been working on that, but uh, I guess it's difficult, you know. You're, if you're not a naturally brilliant athlete, it's hard to turn into one, isn't it? Love 30. Well, here's an opportunity, though, for Nikki Provis. Love 30 at 5 all. Second double fault from Manon Bolograph. It's been a very tight first set. Oh, oh what a good point. 15, well, a clever shot, albeit a little bit risky because she was on the back foot. Let's watch it here on the reverse low angle. Bolograph on top in the rally by virtue of that shot. Good smash. And then leaning backwards plays that little drop or little angle shot. Not easy when your weight's moving back.
30 all. And that was what I was speaking about with the footwork there of Nikki Provis, the ball coming into the body, and she just didn't take those little adjusting steps quickly enough and overhit that second service return, costly. Well, two doubles now in this game. Let's see if Nikki Provis can take advantage of it. So, level on double faults. Well, that's great opportunism. Yes, very clever, isn't it? Uh, just to sneak in almost behind a high bouncing ball and catch your opponent unawares. Ken Rosewell used to do that a lot. Just sneak in unsuspecting. <laughs> and then hit a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's very good tactics from Bolograph. She's done that on several occasions. Advantage Bolograph. She's going to have a bruise on that left foot if she's not careful. Juice. Well, couldn't be any tighter this set. Good at five old juice. We've had uh, four breaks of serve. We've had many other games with opportunities for breaks. And often when you get a very tight set like this, the winner often goes on and wraps up a fairly comfortable second set. So it makes this very critical. Yes, well done. Good length on the forehand. Photograph. And we watch it again from the reverse low angle. Here goes the lob. And very confident again on the overhead bolograph. Three smashes that she's put away now. Juice. Don't always get an idea of the pace at which these rallies are being conducted from behind the court where we're watching, but if you were sitting at courtside, you'd realise they're really clouting the ball. Yes, as we watch uh, Nicole Provis in isolation, watching her good shoulder turn there on the backhand. Little adjusting steps which you need to get yourself into position to play the ball. Advantage Provis. Well, Graf disappointed there. She just missed the line by a couple of centimetres, but perhaps a bit unnecessary to aim that close. 
But both girls have been taking their chances, hitting aggressively. Clever control of the racket face from Bolograf, exposing again the slowness of Provis forward. And we watch as she moves in here, just hesitates, but what good hands here as she has to stretch and control the racket head. That was a tough shot to have to play on break point. But she has got some feel around the net. No! And a little bit of luck around the net. Advantage Bolograv. Frustrating as that was for Nicole, I think perhaps really you couldn't deny that Bolograv deserves her luck. She's played for it. rally there with uh, Provis getting on top in the rally Jeez. as we watch her uh, in ISO here shoulder turn that she starts every movement with with the ground strokes turns the shoulders there beautifully and plays a little roll using the angle on the court there to win the point after previously hitting a deep shot so smart tennis and very sound hitting there from Provis Could be a key game now, the longer it goes. Five all juice, both players have had game points. It now equals the eighth game of this set, which was the previous longest. Advantage Bolograv. Oh, that's great tennis. Game, Bolograf. Bolograf survives dangerously two break points for work. Five, but she is 6-5 ahead, first set. Well, what a lovely day this continues to be, and what lovely tennis from Bolograf. Yes, uh, that was an important game, that last one, and she came out as we see her here in the last point. Early racket preparation, hitting through the ball, and look at the recovery there, now meeting that one well out in front of her. Moving forward, and what control of the backhand volley for the game. Love 15. Wisely donning a cap. Looking into the sun from that southern end. Wild one Love there. That's not a good sign, John, that shot. Well, all the signs of being short of match player here. Missing the big points. There have been any number of break points, as we've said earlier in the match. There's another. Love 40. Three errors then have produced three set points for Bolograf. Game in first set, Bolograf, seven games to five. With foot double fault number four, Provis casts away the opening set after 57 minutes. Well, 
very disappointing way really for Nicole Provis to lose that first set because both players had battled extremely set, hard. To serve. Both had had opportunities and just the last game Nicky had had two break points to lead 6-5. Couldn't quite get there and a very disappointing last game to actually drop the set. It'll take some effort I feel for her to regroup now. Love 15. Have to be a little uh, despondent, I think, after that last game. Just all errors. Love 30. Looks as if a reaction has set in. more of those would certainly lift her uh, spirit. So we watch from the reverse low angle. She did break to love in the opening game of the match. So could repeat that here in the second. Yes. Game Provis. Good enough. On the First line. Game, set. So a better start in the second set. Ken Neville, who has umpired well today, he's done a couple of over rules which he made quickly. And, and I think, Alan, that's what the players always appreciate. Yes, there's not much room for any argument if the overall happens decisively. You can see there's not, a good, not much point carrying on any discussion, so the players just get on with the game. Provis, one love. Second set, having lost the opening set. 7-5. 15 love. Well, that was easily the best game of the match that she played last game, finishing off with a glorious winner. So perhaps she's decided after losing that first set that she's got nothing much to lose. She may as well loosen up a little. 30 love. Love. And she's won seven straight points to uh, open the second set. <laughs> 40 15. And that was the first time of the match that Nikki Provis played a serve volley point, as you see here, but is pretty cleanly passed. But it was a good time to try it, though, at 40 love. Game, Travis. Travis leads two games to love. So often when you've had a highly competitive first set, you find the person who's won it slightly relaxes mentally, and I'm sure that's just what happened to Bolograph. She'll have to pick herself up now, tighten her concentration, because if Provis really gets confident, she could sweep her aside. Oh, good footwork there from Nikki. Quickly on her toes, moving around to take that on the forehand. As we watch her there, quickly moving around the ball to take it on her favoured side. Fifteen thirty. She's hitting a bit more freely. Provis uh, opening the second set. 
I think you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Because you've got to work your way into a tournament. This is her first match. Perhaps that first tough set actually will have stood her in good stead. The uh, sudden rise to fame at the French Championships last year as we see her moving again quite well this time with a beautiful turn of the shoulders and good footwork on her toes between the points and reaching so well for that wide forehand inducing the error from Bolograph. But I think that sudden rise to fame put undue pressures on her because I don't think anybody expected her to do that well on clay in Paris. I think that's quite right. Game, Travis. I mean, the, wins, games to love, second set. the wins she had there against uh, Koda Kilch and Hanneke were really a surprise. She's ahead, three love, second set. So, a slight respite from the sun just now, but warm down there watching the second day of the ladies' hard court championships. I still like to call them ladies rather than women's. Hardcore championships, but there you are. Perhaps I'm old-fashioned, Alan. What do they still call it at Wimbledon? Uh, they call them the ladies. Singles. The ladies' championship and the mm -hmm. gentlemen's championship, isn't it? That's Wimbledon? right. Love 15. Well, now, Bolograph with everything to do in this set and promise to underline her improvement. Fifteen thirty. There's some aggressive hitting here from uh, Bolograf. The net cord sets it up and she really pounces on it. 30 all. And a nice time for an ace from Nikki Provost down 15.30. I think that's the first she served today. Oh. 40.30. So let's have a look front on of the nice easy service motion of Nikki Provis. Hands working together, extending up in a nice throwing action. Oh. Juice. And we'll just finish it off with it here. You'll see she reaches up well for that serve. Advantage Bolograph. Down a break point now, but the only comment perhaps on a serve is that I'd like to see just maybe get the weight transference a little better through the serve. Technically it's quite sound. Bolograph. Travis leads three games to one. Well, what a pity that serve had to be lost after such a good start in this set. But again, it was the errors there that just let her down. I think Manon Bolograph, to me, has uh, realised suddenly that she must really get into this set. She doesn't want to let it slip away quickly. Oh. 
I think her concentration has been uh, gathered again. Fifteen long. Well, Provis caught there, moving around, wanting to take that second serve on her favourite forehand. Volograph was aware. Second ace. Fifteen all. Yes, annoyed with herself because she was just a little bit slow preparing for that return. Well, it looks like that very good patch that she had there, which you know, to quickly get to three love, uh, starting to evaporate a little. Let for serve. What another Game good second Graham. serve. Twice three games to two. Second winning serve. serves on the second serve have given Bolograf a chance to stay in the set, but 3-2 promise. So some good serving has saved Bolograf in this second set. She was three love down, now 3-2. This is how she won her serve just now. You'll see that the slice takes the ball way out to the forehand side of Provis, who's a little bit slow, caught unawares, and it's a winner. Fifteen love. Well, that's an important game for Provis. Well on top of three love and two breaks in this set. Now it's back to three two. Still one break, but she really needs to hold this game. Keep her nose in front in the set. Thirty love. Well, she's given the opportunity to do just that because Bolograph has failed to return two second serves. You can see head down, little shake of the head in fact. Knows that she's committed two rather bad shots there. Thirty-fifteen. Must be worrying to hit a shot like that again. The timing was wrong. Took it too early. Carted it wide. Forty-fifteen. Well, very nice control this time by. Nikki Provis. As we watch her here in close up. Early racket preparation. And game holds Provis. the serve. An important game there for Provis. Provis leads four games to two. Well now. Holograph having appeared to have recovered 
a couple of games ago. Didn't really do very much on return then. Out. 15 love. So you think that Provis would have to make Bollograph work for every point now? Yes, he's uh, in a winning position in the second set. It's still a little bit difficult to uh, predict if she is going to win the set, though, John, because it's been a topsy-turvy match, hasn't it? Thirty-fifteen. And good anticipation there by Bola Graf. She really moved nicely to her right. Just couldn't quite control the volley, but quite a good athlete. Led for serve. Thirty all. So the fourth double and an important point. 2.430 all, and in Bolograph needs this point. Lead, first serve. Well, courageous shot there from Bolograph. It was short from Provis, but bouncing up high. And Bolograph didn't wait for it. She moved forward and really pounced on that high shot and hit the winner. Deserves her game point. Jeez. So close. And by the barest of margins, back to Deuce. Advantage Provis. Well, that would have been quite a good attempt to take a surprise net position. But now it has become a very, very important point. Two breaks should surely secure the set for Provis. to the Dutch girl there, very courageous. Yes, she certainly shows no fear at all on the big points. She continues to go for her shots and hit these cross-court forehands very aggressively. And just taking quite a deal of time here. Advantage Provis. Well now, there was a miss that shouldn't have been an error from such an easy half-court position. 
So Provis must learn to take these gifts. And she has. Two breaks, and five drivers. two Provis, second set. Drivers leads five games to two, second set. Well, it's a day full of activity here at Milton Road on all courts, not just here on the centre court where we've seen a super match. But uh, Wendy Turnbull, we understand, is serving for the match just now. 6-3-5-2, she leads against Anna Ivan, Anna Ivan of the United States. And appears to be doing well. So now Prov is serving for the second set. 15 love. There's still plenty of power in the overhead from uh, Bola Graf, very confident in that department. And her forehand continues to go from either brilliant to erratic. That time it was brilliant. So perhaps just a little bit too short then. Well, as you were saying, again that served just a fraction short. Uh, Bolograph stepping in and clubbing at cross court. He's got a break back point. Advantage Bolograph. Well, that was a slightly indiscreet shot, I would have thought. Yes, well, she does like that forehand, but... Uh Lost a little control over that one. Regained it there. Jews. I think once you see the way Nikki can hit this forehand like this, you realize that you realize why she likes to go for so many winners. Advantage private. Well now, at last, a set point. Well, I think she's going for commendable depth on her ground strokes, Provis, because uh, Bolograph has, during the course of the match, quite a lot of winners. 
from midcourt, but um, on set points, you really must keep the ball in play. Well, three times we've Advantage seen that point, the exact point. Short is second serve to the deuce court. Bolograph stepping in, here it is again, and just hitting that same winner cross court. This court is slow enough to be able to do that. It wouldn't be so easy on grass. Juice. This time, uh, just Advantage to break the monotony, hits it down the line. And Prov is just struggling with her first serve at the moment. Of course, when someone's doing that to your second serve, you, one way of fixing it is to get the first serve in, which is what she's trying to do to slow it down a little to get it in. Good volley. Well, it's a good tennis there by Proffers under extreme pressure. She was stretched from one side to the other. You can see her eyes firmly fixed on the ball there. Hits, recovers, and ended up winning the point. Advantage Proffers. You notice there a slower first serve, making sure she got it in. Bolograph attempting the forehand winner again, but was further back in the court, waiting for the first serve, hence netting the return. For the second time, set point. It's going to be long. Jeez. Oh, a tough game, this one. Both players really working each other around. So this now becomes the longest game of the match. We've had six deuces in it, two to two set points. Advantage Bolograph. Game, Bolograph, new ball. Well, that fifth Travis double leads fault. Five games to three. Giving away that service game, having lost the chance on two set points, and that will have done her confidence no good at all. Yeah, one second. I mean, to get back. That's okay. I mean, the serve was just dropping a little short there, and uh, Bolograph, okay, we've right. seen, is very aggressive on anything short. She loves to step in and really uh, whack the forehand. And that can uh, put pressure on your serve and cause you to double fault. Change of tennis balls. Bolograph trying now to draw up. She's 5-3 down. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Well, it would be a wonderful thing for Australian chances here if Provis could break the Bolograph serve to take this set and start the final set on her own serve. Oh. 
30-15. Because if she doesn't, uh, Alan, she's going to have to serve again for this set. And uh, she's going to get a little tense, I think. Well, it could do, particularly the way uh, Bolograph attacked her serve that previous game. We've seen that she's got the ability to hit winners. Beautiful smash from the mid-court area. Using the angle there. You watch it from a low angle. Up goes the lob. Just slicing it away, coming right towards us. Fine shot. Bolograve. Great recovery five games to four, second from set. Manon Bolograve. She saved two set points. Now Provis will have to serve for the set once more. So a really momentous occasion here for Nicole Provis as she's going to serve for the set. And what a nice piece of headgear that is. A lovely fan there to keep the wearer cool. Yeah, solar powered. <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> what will they think of next? 5 4. Love 15. Do you like to win that opening point when you're serving for a set? You do, and particularly when you've had a uh, fairly large lead and your opponent is starting to peg it back. Well, that's the shot she hit so many winners off in the last Provis service game. Well, just a bit anxious, I think, this game, because she's been similarly placed in the last two points and just overhit the forehand, going for the winner. Well, I don't think I'd give her a lob because uh, she's really smashed beautifully. Won every point on the overhead. You watch quick footwork there to get into position. Ah, that's better. 30. Well, perhaps it'll be a case of third time lucky if we see the beautifully timed lob here. It was exactly the right shot for the moment with Bolograph closing in, committed to a forward movement. Set point number three. That's better. Game in second set, Travis. Six games to four. An hour and 37 minutes they've been on court, Alan, and that, I think, bodes well for Provis's confidence. Yes, yeah, just noticing that Nicole's changed rackets for this third set, just went up to the net to change their shoes, just testing the restring. A good effort, though, from Nikki Provis because the way she ended the first set 
with some wild hitting and a double fault. I really thought she was in a bit of trouble. So it just shows you she's a very good fighter to come back. Set, to serve. And it was a struggle, but she did pretty well to take that second set. So, Bolograph to open the decider. Love 15. Well, Provis moving the ball around very well there. Side to side as we watch it here. A lot of territory to cover there for Bolograph. And she did go for the wrong shot. Having got back to the ball, she would have just defended there rather than attacking. This is a key game, always the opening game of the last set of a match. Often sets the whole pattern of the third set. Beautifully struck from Nicole, a little slap on the thigh. Love, 40. What a wonderful thing confidence is. Having won that set, the timing's there now. In comes Bolograph, but very cleanly passed there. Beautifully timed backhand from Provis. Three break opportunities. Travis. As she did in the first, first game, and second set, she breaks Bolograph to love. Time. Well, there's a lovely sight. Milton Road in summer. But a slightly different view from the, that which you're used to here. The grass being replaced this year for the first time by rebound ace. The surface now that we see springing up everywhere as a result of the decision by Tennis Australia to lay that surface at the National Tennis Centre. The parasols are out, the sun shades, the sunglasses, and I think there'll be a little bit of cheer around the court for the improved form of Nicole Provis serving now one love final set. Fifteen love. Lead, first serve. Some heavy hitting in that rally. And I think if Nicole Provis can hang on to that service break right here, I think we would have to favour her to go on and win the match. But boy, it's been one heck of a struggle. Bolograph really hit some great shots. I'm sure she's not done with yet. You can see the skill that she possesses there. That was a low volley. As we'll watch from the reverse low angle, she comes into the net, got a ball below the height of the net, bent the knees beautifully, and what great control of the racket head. Find that open corner.
Mysterio. And Alan, what about this difficult problem for all youngsters like this, only 19, remember, turning junior promise into fulfilment, a finalist in the French juniors, a finalist in the Australian juniors, winner of the mixed, quite unexpectedly really, a rather a finalist there with, with Cahill. Uh, how do you actually develop juniors like that and turn promise into fulfilment? Well, I think you've got to uh, instill upon them that they don't have to become a champion player the year out of juniors. I think you've got to instill that it's, there's a learning process there of a couple of years at least, and that patience and perseverance are the key. And uh, with Nicole doing so well in her last year in the juniors, as she said, we're getting the semi-final of the French, I think everybody automatically expects that she's going to continue that form every single week in open tennis in the senior ranks, and that's just not going to happen. Maybe by the time she's 22, 23, she'll be doing that regularly. But I think the key, though, for the coaches is to just not be too impatient, allow the player to... Uh, two or three years to develop and to make that uh, transition period. Bad luck there for Bola Grappa. A fine rally, both girls hitting the ball aggressively, and it was the net cord that beat her eventually. Let's have a look here at the side-on shot of Nikki Provis. You'll see how she doesn't really let the weight go forward as well as she might. That's the serve of a natural baseline player who's not moving forward towards the net. But a very key game here. Nicole knows it. She's battling hard. Took the second, got the early break in the third. Needs to consolidate against a very determined and a very good player in Manon Bolograph. Advantage Provis. Now look where Bolograph is standing at the far end. Just wide of the sideline, threatening the server. Out. Well, it, game, was a, it was a fine idea. Travis leads two games to love. Didn't quite come off. She's hit a lot of clean winners off second serves of Provis today. Well, I really feel that was probably the key game for the match. Provis hanging on there to that serve. At two love up now, she can afford to be a little bit more relaxed and maybe uh, try to increase the pressure on Bolograph now and maybe even sneak a second break in this third set. Oh, what a return. That was a fine serve from Bolograph. Hit flat, a lot of power. Love 15. That timing we spoke of has suddenly come good, hasn't it? It's yes, just a short backswing there to make sure she met the ball firmly in front. Top shot. Love thirty.
15.30. Well, after doing all the good defensive work and remaining in the rally, Nicky Provis will be a little disappointed with herself there, missing the forehand. Some fine lobbing to keep herself in the point. And then missed that straightforward one. Fifteen forty. Bolograph now is really having to contend with a totally different proposition in Provis of the last half dozen games or so. Oh! All those unforced errors and the rather poor timing that we saw at the start of the match now have disappeared. She's a gutsy player though, Bolograph, isn't she? She's going for that shot like that when you're down point for a double break in the third set and making it. But the percentages aren't on your side though. There goes the second break. Three love, game, Provis, Provis, final set. Travis leads three games to love, final set. Well, back here at the Danone Australian Women's Hardcourt Championships, a scoreline to hearten Australian fans, though one Alan Stone, which I don't think many people expected they would see on the evidence of the first set. Yes, uh, Nicole had a lot of chances, but finished off the set rather ingloriously. But uh, I've known her for a long time, and she is a tremendous fighter. So I'm not surprised to see her now in this winning position with a double break in the second set, uh, third set rather. Serving now at three love. Love yes, a good volley there by Father Graff, who's actually chosen our moments to come to the net well today. Fifteen all. Oh, she did well to keep the ball low to Bolograph's feet there. Forty fifteen. That forehand hit some great shots with it but it also continues to let her down interesting to see the stats i think at the end of the match the number of errors and the number of winners i'm sure they'll both be high on that forehand side mm. 40 30. a lovely blocked return there from uh, manon bolograph gee she's got some great shots let's watch her here and iso moves forward into the shot no big backswing or follow through Game, Travis. Travis well, leads four games to love. Bolograph continues to go for the lines. You either have to call it very brave or very <laughs> foolish. At love three down and now love four down in the final set. Well, the percentages of uh, match play in tennis dictate that the closer the match gets, the bit more you've got to be uh, percentages on your favour. Choice of shot is a crucial area of the game which all players have to learn. Well, 
Clovis now, confidence really lifting. Photograph probably just a little bit too far back here as we'll see where she makes this approach from. A bit too far back, she can't get close enough and is pretty comprehensively passed. More of a bluff tactic, that one hoping to draw an error. Fifteen all. Split screen shot here, the movement of both players in that last rally. Just changing the grip there for the forehand. Back again to the backhand side. And Provis you saw just got too close to that last shot. Well, she was succeeding by making Provis cover a lot of court earlier in the match, but Provis actually has been speeding up, and I suspect it's because she's a little more relaxed, a little more confident. Bolograph. So Bolograph gets her name final set. on the scoreboard, but an awful lot to do. Two breaks down, 4-1 Provis. So 4-1 to Provis, final set. Love 15. Well, let's watch the stroking here of Men and Bolograph. Nice two handed backhand executed there. Not a good enough approach shot. 15 all. Provis had all the time in the world to select the shot here, and as on the, we watch on the reverse angle, it's the lob that she selected. A little bit of disguise on it. A beautiful shot. Inquiring glance there, a little shake of the head, boy that was close. was just a little anxious there, a little impatient to put away that shot and wrap up this game. Not that easy off a high bouncing ball. Gee, she's got a good smash. Has not missed one. 30, 40. A look of anguish there for Nicole. She'll have to fight off a break point here. So once again, the overhead getting quickly into position on the bounce and lovely angle.
So it's not all Two. par. I think the lob and that little drop shot shows that now Provis is relaxed and thinking. Looking at it again from the reverse angle, from Bollegrass' point of view, quite hopeless attempting to chase that. Advantage Provis. So she's done well here to fight off a break point and now holding one that would give her a 5-1 lead. Good first serve at help. Being threatened on the second serve by where Bollograph's standing. And it worked. Juice. Bluff, that was. Well, the second serve has been fairly uh, short right throughout the match. The sixth double, but she's hit quite a few short second serves that Bonagraf's taken advantage of, and it's that bluff and pressurising tactic that makes you get a little tentative on your serve. Oh. And smart tennis from Bonagraf as she attempts to get back into this match. Advantage Bolograf. Excellent depth on that approach shot and interesting hitting it down the centre of the court, not allowing Provis any angle for her attempted pass. Juice. But getting the first serve in there, Nicole, when she needed it. Match has been in progress for just over two hours, so. Been a pretty tough encounter under warm conditions. Advantage Provis. So again, a chance for 5-1. Strikes me that this type of surface is a very fair one and we've seen some very tough and long matches. Defence and attack are well served. Well, that's great play. There's a Cousins clean winner for you. Game, Travis. Travis leads five games to one. Well, that was a magnificent finish to that game. Remember, she'd had a break point against her. On a couple of occasions. One five. Brilliant. Played very, very well in this match, man, and Bolograph. And in fact, the 5 1 score line that she's down in the third set probably isn't a, a true reflection on how well she's played. Provost certainly played much better in this, uh, in the third set. 30 love. So a seventh double fault now for Manon Bollegraf, one ahead of Provis. Cole would like to wrap up the match here in this game, I think, rather than have to serve it out. Again, Bollograf exhibiting great uh, skills at the net. And as we watch her move forward here and on full stretch, control the shot beautifully. Volleyed well in this match.
What a difference Juice. from the girl who we saw in the first set. Well, you see here, plenty of time to set up for that shot. And when she's uh, striking the ball confidently, those ground strokes, she can really generate some pace and a lot of winners. Advantage Bologram. Perfect. Yes. So quickly running around the backhand to set up for that forehand and then struck it. You can see the winners there, 12 11. That's quite a high number. They've both hit off their forehands. Considering this isn't what you'd call a super fast court, so that's a lot of winners from the baseline. Advantage Provis. Yes, rather the reverse, in fact. It, it's on the slow side, mm. this, uh, this uh, court. And that error has produced the first match point. Oh, well done, that's it. Game set match Travis, two sets to run. Five seven six four six one. Five seven six four six one. It's taken two hours and nine minutes to achieve that victory and Provis, the number six seed, through playing much more confident at the end. I think she'll be pleased that it was as tough as it was. Oh, I think she will, John. She had to battle early, but came back very well. And you can see the serves there, the percentage of serves. Neither girl won very many serves off the first serve in. Aces, not much in it. Double faults, fairly close. Forehand uh, winners, as we just saw, 12 to 11. Backhand winners heavily in Provis's favour, which were the passing shots. You look at the points won at net, 16 to 4 in favour of Volograph, and she did take the attack right up and volleyed quite beautifully. Unforced errors is fairly high there. I think most of Nicky's were in the first set and a half, and uh, quite a number from Volograph, and I think a lot of those would have been on the forehand side. So a good performance, really, from the number six seed, Nikki Provis, to come back from losing the first set and going on to take the match in two sets, and I think she'd be pleased with that, what you'd say is more than a very useful workout in the first round. Indeed it was. So great applause for an Australian victory there as the players leave the court.